something to even <laughs> nature. So we have to ensure that everyone, wherever you are, in whatever you are doing, you are committed to fighting this climate change. I'm Wamboy Nancy, um, founder and director of uh, Reclaim Your Soul with Vetiva Association. We are based in Ndeia Ward in Kiambu sub-county. Agroforestry is an interaction between um, trees, crops, uh, and human beings because we cannot do all other things uh, in, abs in our absentia. So we normally uh, engage our community to get them understand uh, the benefits of uh, doing agroforestry uh, in our shamba system. We train our farmers on how to correct seeds or rather to do uh, seed sourcing from the forest. We train them to establish nursery trees and again, we train them how to do out planting and having a, a, the light timing. We, we have so many benefits on agroforestry technologies or other agroforestry uh, practices whereby we categorize them in different groups. In agroforestry, we talk of how we can design our farms or rather our shambas to make sure that each and every crop uh, will be praised in, its, uh, in a light place. We do a lot of uh, growing plants whereby we put them in different uh, places. Like number one, we do the forest garden or other. Uh, our, our garden must have uh, boundaries. We do the green walls uh, with uh, trees. It will help in uh, capturing the weed or reducing the weed. Uh, number two, we, we do alley cropping alley cropping. We incorporate uh, tiba trees whereby we can disperse them in our farm. And also, when we design our farms, we do fruit trees in our gardens. Uh, and after doing the, that kind of diversity of uh, growing or planting different type of trees, at the end of the day, the farmer will see the benefit of doing the agroecology practices. Number one thing that we have been doing or other that uh, we have been advocating on, it's more of mobilizing and training them the benefits of growing trees. So like majority of them, like 99.9%, they have adopted the, 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 our concept and they have seen the benefits of growing trees. My name is Pamina Sonsongo. I'm a farmer and also an extension officer working with CSHEP, a local NGO, and uh, I will insist on uh, intercropping as a way of uh, soil conservation. Uh, intercropping is a method where we farm in planting different crops uh, simultaneously on the same piece of land, and we have a lot of benefits on the same, uh, which include control of pests and also improving uh, the soil health. Uh, on the other way, uh, to also encourage sustainability, we encourage our farmers to incorporate different methods so that we can improve our soil health. For instance, we encourage farmers to do different varieties of uh, fertilizers, but organically uh, made. For instance, we can use uh, compost manure and farmyard manure to keep the soil health and sustainable. Uh, on intercropping, uh, we don't only use, we don't only select crops. We do compatible crops. For instance, we can also do uh, the crops that are tall and short, and uh, also we also have the crops that we can use to act as repellents uh, on on the pests that attack our crops. We encourage on this because we want to crop in a sustainable way, such that we can conserve the environment. Now that we are migrating from the use of uh, synthetic chemicals and we want to minimize environmental pollution with intercropping, we can achieve good sustainable uh, methods. Uh, and also on intercropping, in case of failure of crops, for instance, in this Ndeya area, we face a lot of dry periods or a lot of dry spells. In case one crop uh, fails, we are sure the other crop cannot fail. So that's why we simultaneously encourage the use of compatible and different varieties of crops as a sustainable way of farming.
kwa majina naitwa Daniel Kenodia mimi ni mkulima wa Deya Sub County katika Kiambu County hii kasi ya ukulima wa hii aina ya mboga ya spinach nimefanya kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi na ndio nimefika kwa ki, kwa hii kiwango ya ya kupanda namna hii kwa sababu nimeona ukipanda namna hii itakuwa ni rahisi kupea maji wakati wa kiangazi wakati wa kufanya mulching hutatumia nyasi nyingi na pia utapanda mimea mingi kwa sehemu kidogo kwa sababu nimeona hii ni muhimu kwa wale ambao hawana mashaba kubwa na watakuwa na mavuno mengi kuliko kupanda kwa ile njia ingine ya mistari mistari tambarare wakati nilianza nilionelea kwanza ni pande namna hii nilikuwa nafanya nafanya research yangu mwenyewe nikaawa na vitanda vitatu vya test na hii ingine nikatengeneza vitanda vitatu vya control kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kujua ni njia gani mzuri ambayo itazaidia watu wa area hii 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 bed tatu nimeweka nyanzi hii naona ninatumia maji kidogo wakati kama huu wa kiangazi wakati ninaparilia hii natumia nusu ya ile na pia mazao ya hii iko juu ya ile ya control lakini sasa ukiangalia kwa hii utaona vizuri ile ambayo haina matching maji yake yote inaenda na jua na saizi yake inakuwa kidogo hata kilo ni kidogo hata kara pia ni tofauti hii ni pale lakini ni dark green hii ya uh, mulching mazao yake tumesema pia ni kubwa hata pia rangi yake inapendeza ukipeleka kwa soko utakuta wakulima ama wanunuzi wanahitaji unauza hii inamarizika hii ingine unaachwa na hii ndio inanunua mwishoe lakini wanaanza na ile mzuri inafanya kilimo hii kwa sababu nataka kufanya ya water management nataka kuangalia ama nione ukitumia nyasi kama mulching na ile mashamba ambayo hujatumia nyasi hujafanya mulching ni gani itafanya vizuri kwa mazao size size ya mazao itakuwa namna gani kilo zitakuwa namna gani hata rangi ya mazao itakuwa namna gani nachukua hizo data kwa sababu ninataka watu wengine wawe wakifanya kama hii na niwe na uwezo wa kuwaelezea vizuri umuhimu wa kilimo ya aina hii. Hii mulching kona faida, iko na faida zaidi ya moja. Kuna vile ina control wadudu, kuna wadudu ambao hawataki kukaa mahali kuna unyevu mwingi. Na pia ina suppress weed. Hakuna kwekwe inamea hapa kwa sababu hakuna nafasi imeachwa wasi imefunikwa. Lakini kwa ile utakuwa ile iko na kazi mingi wadudu wanapenda sana huko mahali kuna jua kali mahali hakuna unyevu nyevu na pia utakuwa ukitumia maji mingi na mazao yake ni, ni duni ukilinganisha na hii hata quality yake pia itakuwa na utofauti ugumu sasa vile ningetaka kusema kuhusu mulching ugumu wake ama ile challenge kubwa ambaye ambaye inatukuba ni wakati kuna mvua ukiweka hii mulching na kuna mvua ni kama unaongeza maji unaongeza kwa maji ingine kwa hivyo hiyo unyevu utazidi na kwa hizo hizi mboga zako zitaanza zingine zitaoza zingine zitakuwa na stunted growth kwa sababu unyevu umezidi lakini ile challenge iko kwa pande hii ni ya wakati wa kiangazi tu wakati wa kiangazi na hii ya control ndio iko na challenge kwa sababu maji yake haijafunikwa na kwa hivyo unaweka maji saa hiyo hiyo tu yote ina evaporate na inaenda yote. Kwa hivyo mimea yako inangangania maji na jua. Mulching unaweza fanya kwa mimea aina yote. Hii ni sambu ya ile tu nimepanda lakini hata cabbage, hata kama ni mahindi, hata kama ni viazi, mulching unaweza fanya kwa mimea aina yote. Hata matunda, tutaenda kwa matunda na utaona nimefanya mulching. Kwa sababu umuhimu wa mulching ni kuhifadhi maji. Tuna njia nyingi za kuhifadhi maji. Hata kama tutaenda kwa ingine na ingine na tutaona na zinafanya kasi. Unaweza pia niko na water pan. Unaweza chimba water pan na una harvest ile load runoff, ile maji ya barabara inatembea huko. Na hiyo maji wakati kama udi unatumia kwa pump, una spray, unanyunyizia hii maji mimea yako kwa sababu hiyo ni njia ingine ya kuhifadhi maji. I'm studying in the in the tunnel that is collecting water from the main load down to the dam which is down here for irrigation 
that I'm going to use it after the rain stops. The water comes from the road, now passes through here. This is the main entrance, whereby the water gets into the first filter, the silt goes down, and the silt water comes up, then passes on this top, overruns, or passes over to the next filter, then the silt goes down, and the, the clean water comes up, and then penetrates through this hole. There are another sieves here, these two holes that penetrate here. So the water is filtered three times, from the first step, second step, and then to these sieves. Then the water comes in into the water pump. Sasa hii peti baiko hapo kando, hii ni hila nilimesema tunatumia kwa mulching, na pia inahifadhi maji, mizizi yake inachukua maji, inapatia hile mumea hiko karibu wakati wakiangazi. Hii peti papia, kando na mulching, na hiyo kupea mimea ingine maji, Kuna ingine tunaweka dani ya water pan na hii inasaidia kusafisha hii maji kwa sababu hii maji ni road runoff iko na uchafu yake iko na makemiko inatoka huko juu kwa wale wanalima na fertilizer pande ya juu yote inateremka inakuja hapa chini yote inatumika na hii vetiva na hii maji wakati unaitaka kwa kurima inakuwa safi kabisa My name is Mungai Joroge na nafanya kazi na CBO inaitwa Agro initiative advocacy ambayo iko hapa ndeia na ni mkusanyiko wa farmers different farmers who, who met and organized themselves in order to tell the government our concern about the agroecology na tukaanza hiyo muradi na tukalijesa kama CDO I would like to thank uh, Root to Food hosted by Henry Ball Foundation and other partners like uh, BioVision, SeaShep, Super Basket, 3 for Kenya, and some other um, stakeholders. In the work they have done to empower the farmers in order to understand more about agroecology and also to make the, our government understand what matters in agroecology. Already we have started a uh, uh, CBO and we are working with the Kiabu County uh, government. So today I only want to thank all of them for the work they have done to us and also the, the information they are giving to us. And we are still, we as farmers, we are going to collaborate and work more with them in order to make our county better and also to let the other worlds, apart from Deya, understand what is agroecology and what it matters to do in agroecology.